Welcome back to the Geekiverse Show. My name is Josiah. I'm here with Lauren, Jeff, and Pete. We are talking about uh, the Batman vs. Superman trailer that just uh, aired recently and uh, Dawn of Justice coming in the spring. That being said, initial thoughts and reactions. Uh, there's, there's a few things we haven't seen before, but I feel like there's not much left uh, to be unturned. Lauren, we'll start with you. I'm going to be a, probably a very unpopular opinion here. However, I am very excited about um, Jesse Eisenberg, correct? Yeah, 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 as Lex as, Luthor. As Lex Luthor. Yep. I know that um, we kind of talked about this before when we were at home, and you were like, well, Lex Luthor's supposed to be this, like, more macho guy. Yeah, he's a macho you know? guy. You, know, you think of him as a tough guy, maybe a little bit more. But more I love Jesse. He, from the trailer, he looks on the edge of, you know, It'll psychotic. Be Kevin Spacey. I think it was Kevin Spacey. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, Jesse Eisenberg, you, you love him or hate him, I think. Maybe I think there is know. an in-between. <laughs> well, he's kind of that guy where he almost always plays, like, the exact same tone of a character. Like, he's playing, like, different characters, but it's, like, the same tone and stuff. So, um, with regards to that, like, always that little goofiness. I always I had the theory that it, Mark Zuckerberg know? was an evil guy anyway, so there you go. <laughs> no, but I don't know. I'm just really excited to see how he is with it. I think I agree with that. I, I really like, uh, I, when I heard he was going to be Lex Luthor, I was like, come on. I mean, he's this skinny the little guy. He's, <laughs> he's, what, 28? He might be a few years older. Anyway, it, it just didn't seem to line up with me. And seeing the long hair is almost comical to me. I mean, he looks like a kid in, in a band that, you know, I would play a show with. Uh... You used to have hair like that at one point. No, 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 no. My, mine was much different. But insert photo here. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I, I think it's going to be good. It, it's it's unique. But Jeff, initial thoughts and reactions on this. Uh, for the trailer, it, you know, we didn't see necessarily a lot new of her, but I continue to be really excited for Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Me I think, too. I think she's got the look down, fan, you know, perfect. She is, yeah. They they yeah. have have they ever is has there been a good Wonder Woman yes. edition like it, I don't know there's a TV show Linda I, Carter okay that was the name I couldn't remember her name oh no you Linda guys Carter, were yes. like negative twenty years old no the I that it came he's, out, he's right Linda Carter was a fantastic Wonder Woman in uh, her TV show but I think so it's Gal, been a while regardless yeah I think Gal Gadot is going to be the perfect combination of a very feminine superhero but also a very empowering superhero too. She looks the part. Mm -hmm. She, I, I like the costume. I know, I know nothing about the Wonder Woman movie. I think that's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited. <laughs> Honestly, so, I think I might be more excited for that standalone Wonder Woman movie than Dawn of Justice. To be perfectly honest. See where this. Um, I've got a few thoughts on this movie being rushed, but we'll come back to that. Uh, Pete, which, which first, movie being rushed? Wonder Woman uh, or, the, or Dawn of Justice? Dawn of Justice. When I say rushed, I mean in in terms of of timeline. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah. Not in terms of production. No. Gear, no. Get her done. No, and we'll come back to that. Um, What's I, the first thing that pops in your mind when you see this trailer? I'm just not getting it, you know, like... Is it too unfocused? I, I, I don't know what the storyline is. There's the, there's the weird moment where, uh, which I've read someplace, that it's a, it's a flashbacky dream sequency thing where he... he drops down inside the thing and then all the soldiers kind of get down and genuflect as he walks down. Yeah. Like I know they're going for the um, Superman as God uh, imagery and so you know that's the whole the whole idea behind it is these these you know, Batman's fighting him because Superman can't have all this power and stuff like that. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm worried that it's going to be all over the place. Um, I haven't right. seen anything to contradict that in the in the new trailer or anything like that. And, and uh, that's so. what I mean by unfocused. It just seems like, and for better or worse, uh, like a hundred cameos. Just who, you know, which which heroes and villains can we pluck to put in this? Maybe one on one. And I think what I'm saying in terms of being rushed is Marvel built up to the Avengers movie by movie, and I think Avengers. Don't quote me on this. I think it was about the fifth or sixth movie in that cinematic universe. It, it wasn't the second. We only have Man of Steel in this DC universe so far. Right. Now, we'll have Suicide Squad. We'll have um, Wonder Woman. We'll have probably a standalone Batman movie at some point. I, you got to imagine. I think they've confirmed that already. Yes. So I, I just feel like it was the pressure to be like, oh, my goodness, Avengers 
yeah. is selling so well right now. We've got to have a collaboration, and we've got to do it quickly. And I don't yeah. think it was that time sensitive. I, I know time is money, and I know you have to be on the hot topic, but I, I think this stuff is here to stay for the foreseeable future. Um, and that's what I'm saying with the unfocused. It just seems like, let's grab Batman, let's grab Superman. Even though it's a Superman sequel, I would have much rather seen a Superman sequel by himself, maybe a cameo from Batman at the end. Uh, if you're rebooting Batman, which you are, I, I think a Batman movie, again, to introduce this Batman in this universe and where he is in his career. And it's and a very different Batman from younger Batman, which you could say was Christian Bale, Michael Keaton. All totally. Right. And this could, in essence, be a continuation from that, even though Absolutely. it's not. Yeah. So I think that's where I'm at with it. I mean, I am very interested to see this movie. Yeah. I thought the trailer was okay, and Lauren's right. I might be, and Jeff, actually, I might be most interested in Wonder Woman and Lex Luthor. The, the trouble with the trouble with your theory your idea of that is that it's really a two year turnaround for one of these movies right in the in the slot of things so if you're talking about doing a, a Superman sequel and then a Batman first movie before you get that this movie doesn't show up for six years down the line and at that point in time Ben Affleck is like bat grandpa <laughs> you know like, which he arguably is now <laughs> and, and I I guess that that's what they're kind of going for. I mean, he, it is. like the older Batman, we talked about that. He, he looks old. I didn't think you this know, was he's... contingent on, on Ben Affleck being Batman. It's like, goodness, wait a little bit. And Henry Cavill as Superman, he's, he looks like he'll, he'll age just fine. Yeah. Uh, so I think they could have waited. And, mm. you know, obviously I'm not making those decisions. And I could be blown away come April when this movie drops. And I hope I am. But I, I'm I, not sure. I'm I hope get there. I am too. But I, I like, don't think I'm going to get there. Man of Steel didn't do it for me. I haven't had a, a real good Superman movie experience, you know, through the mm -hmm. whole thing. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know whether it's the script. I don't know, you know. Uh, Christopher Reeve, you know, he was good. He was he was a good actor. I, I just I, I just haven't fallen in love with anything out of the Superman side of the DC universe at all. We've know? arguably never gotten a good Superman video game either. Like, no. Finally, we got a good Batman one. Oh. And, and, and the Batman stuff, I, you know, I, I love lots of it. See, you know, there's lots of choices. Right, right? I love lots of it. There's, lot, there's lots of Superman choices too. Yeah, there's, yeah. Pr there's probably there's lots of there's good probably, Batman choices. There's I'm probably saying. four, there's probably at least four, right? Four or five mm -hmm. uh, Superman movies out there already. And, and mm -hmm. I think they're up to six now. I think there yeah, were four Christopher Reeve ones. There was... Somebody else, somebody else played it yes. too, right? Um, Early 2000s. Superman Returns mm -hmm. with uh, Kevin Spacey as Lex Luthor. Yeah. Which there was, was that, just... And then you had Man of Steel. I Man. think sometimes a lot of writers have trouble making Superman um, identifiable with an average, everyday person. Like, you know, Batman, Batman is easy for us to relate to because he has no superpowers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's just a regular old person, whereas Superman is, like you said, it's easy to make Superman as God. It's mm -hmm. very easy to portray him that way because he is so far beyond the average. But there's human. there's been some good Superman properties. Like, oh, absolutely. Like Smallville was a was a good show for a while there. You know, yeah, very popular just, because it, it humanized him. It just it uh, humanized I just, Clark Kent. I don't know whether it's script. I don't know whether it's what it is. But I haven't fallen in love, and I certainly haven't. Um, Man of Steel wasn't it either. You know, they haven't nailed it yet, and I I think to me Man of Steel was closest. I liked it. I like Nolan's direction with it. It felt like it could have been a part of the Dark Knight trilogy's universe, and I don't know if that's. I, but you, you know, this trailer does the same thing. Sure. Like, but now we've got a new Batman, right? You know, mm -hmm. gritty. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, and Superman to me has never been a gritty storyline, gritty character, and they're they're moving in that direction. And this trailer is the same kind of stuff. The, uh, you know, it's it, the coloring of it. Is dark, mm -hmm. you know. Cinematically, it's 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 wonderful. Yeah, but it's it's right. It matches that Dark Knight trilogy tone, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm not I'm not sure that's the direction that I I want Superman to go, but right. You know, nobody called me and asked my opinion, which is a little disconcerting. You know. Yeah. Well, they're in trouble now, big time. And it's because they didn't ask Pete for where to go with it. So and, I mean, thanks a lot, like, DC. Like <laughs> I I snickered at the Hulkbuster um, Iron Man suit. <laughs> and then in this trailer, you see a little bit of the Superman Buster Batman suit. And I'm like, that looks stupid. <laughs> you know you know what I mean? Like, he looks like a... 
like a statue, like a like a yeah. like somebody carved them with a chainsaw out of a <laughs> out of a big log kind of thing, you know. Pretty clunky. much, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like like it's stuff like that. Like I, there's nothing about the visual of Batman in this movie that I like. No, I don't like the uniform at it all. It looks I don't like boxy. the big, right. I don't like the armor at all. I don't no. I, boxy, boxy is a good way to put it. I think that that Christian Bale bat suit was probably the way to go and the most yeah. uh, authentic. Yeah, authentic may not be the right word, but most true to form, at least for my vision of it, and obviously everyone's going to have a different opinion, but I think that we share the same one here. You guys got to read uh, some Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller. You guys definitely need to read well, some Frank Dark Knight Returns. Frank Miller's the guy, you know. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm, I, I'm not excited about it. No, I'm more excited for Deadpool. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, cautiously optimistic, I guess, would be um, one of... Uh, one of uh, the St. Mary's alumni you guys uh, kind of graduated with um, said the same thing. Andy Adolph brought up cautiously optimistic, and uh, that's kind of what I am, but I'm less optimistic. I'm not even sure I'm cautious, which is disconcerting to me, because most of the times I'll see these trailers and be like, yep, I'm ready. With any Marvel trailer that's come out for the, the cinematic universe with uh, the Avengers, Captain America... Iron Man, I'm like, yep, sign me up, can't wait, countdown, I'll see you there. This one, I want to feel that way about, and I'm right. struggling to get there. And I know I'll like it to a degree, I don't know how much of it I'll like. And I, I'm not even convinced I'm going to like it, is the thing. That's the thing, we're questioning this. You know? We shouldn't be questioning this. With, right. So I, that's, is DC going the wrong way about this? There's some super powerful imagery in all of the, all of the things that have come out so far. You know the yeah. the Robin suit with the with the spray paint across the front of it. Uh, the Superman statue with mm -hmm. the yep. what does it say false god on yeah. it or something like that. Mm -hmm. The the military when he <coughs> everybody genuflex kind of things as he's walking down. Like there's super powerful imagery and I'm just like how much time has there been between Man of Steel and this because. It's clearly happened very long. <laughs> right? Not, Not very long. <laughs> so all of us. It, it's clearly happened very quickly that they don't look at him, not everybody looks at him in the same light, that he's a controversial topic, that right. he's got too much power. Clearly, Bruce Wayne sees it that way. And it's like, it feels like he shouldn't be here yet. He should have had another movie of being the, the, the superhero. Yeah. Or maybe something that should have happened in that that questioned it and make people go, right. and, maybe we'll get that. Guy? Maybe we'll get that. Maybe we maybe, will. Maybe the beginning of this movie will be whatever turns people against him whatever makes people question him. where's the yeah, yeah where's the gray area come in cause... which which sadly and i'm i'm gonna jump here and then you're gonna pull me right back but this is sort of the beginning of the civil war storyline in marvel you know, oh yeah you know what I mean? like some, something happens mm -hmm. that they then turn a turn against these guys and it's the same kind of storyline Maybe they uh, maybe they wanted to jump out in front of that or something that's going to come out. However, we know so, that's, great points. We know that's not going to be the case though because this new trailer, which revealed the big the big baddie Doomsday. Yes. We now know that you know, hey, maybe Superman and Batman are going to quarrel at first, but in the end, they're going to get together and take down Doomsday. That's well, the but, thought. And we absolutely see that mm -hmm. at the end of the trailer when Batman and Superman are walking up and Wonder Woman pops out and they're like. She was you. Uh -huh. you know, and like, I love that. Great. Yeah. It's actually the little bit of sense of humor that I've seen in the whole thing. Yes. There's actually the tiniest bit of camaraderie there, yeah. you know, where they're actually, uh, you see some collaboration and some getting along. Like when you see the Avengers in battle and the little things that they may, you know, elbow each other and the uh, haha -ha moments. Like, right. I love that. And I hope that that becomes more of a thing. And we won't I know. I do too, because I didn't think there was enough of that in Man of Steel. No. Like, it, there was. There was. <laughs> You know, and I was afraid because Zod is back in this one, right? Right. Um, you know, I mean, we'll we, see. We don't know what, but he's back. Yeah. I mean, it might be the Vader his, mask thing, yeah. right? Like you, Ren. you see his body, mm -hmm. right, in the trailer? Yeah. Right. yeah. Right? So you see him. So he's back in some Maybe he way, was shape, or form. There. And I think that that, that, that storyline has been done to death, too. You know, the, the bad guys from Krypton coming back and, and chasing Superman around. It's just... Mm. Yeah, it's not a storyline I get excited about. I agree. So I think there's, um, it, it just feel, we don't know 100% what the story is, obviously, and I think at the same time, we've seen so many freaking images, and 
with the two trailers, it seems like they show a lot that it's almost like I'm not curious enough. Right. Uh, you, you want that, that oh, what's going on here? Now, I am curious about Wonder Woman. I think her coming in there is pretty awesome. And uh, there's a little bit of that with Lex Luthor going on. I think I want to see, is he going to be just this weird guy the whole time? <laughs> or is he really going to well, get, seems like, like, you know, <laughs> seems like the, is he gonna get this is a direction they wanted to go with, with Lex Luthor. And... Maybe that's where they're, they're trying to put their, their percentage of humor. Could be. Which I'm not sure if that's going to translate, but we won't know. And we still haven't seen Aquaman yet. He's in this movie. He is in this movie. But we still don't know what he's going to uh, be doing yet. The dude from Game of Thrones. That is Jason uh, Momoa. Yeah, Jason Momoa. Yes. So, Who I, I he, never expected to be Aquaman in my life. Doesn't, uh, the, the pictures of him you know, that we've seen so far <laughs> doesn't look like what Aquaman looked like at all in my, in my world. True. A big, long-haired Samoan yeah. is Aquaman. I am a, <laughs> I will say, like when they, they cast him, I was like, wow, he's going <laughs> to be... Pretty solid, you know. He's he's a big chiseled guy. He's got his long hair, beard, and, and I, I was like, hey. I immediately assumed that they were gonna, you know, cut his hair and blonde it up. And nope. nope, they're not gonna do that. Oh, no, this is uh, this is it. Aqua Game of Thrones. He looks more like Namor. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, yes. You know. The guy who played Conan the Barbarian is Aquaman. Can you imagine a Game of Thrones crossover with Aquaman? <laughs> just, it'd just be brutal. Oh my gosh, don't get me started. Um, uh, obviously, this is a part of a bigger universe. We're seeing the Suicide Squad together just a few months later uh, with the Joker tease a little bit, with the Haas all over the um, Robin, right? It, it was Robin's uh, costume, if you will. I'm more excited about that movie. I, I hope uh, some of that is alluded here. I hope we see cameos from the Joker. I mean, what ultimately are you guys, what can make this movie worthwhile for you? What, Lauren, let me start with you maybe. What, what's going to make you walk out of this movie saying, all right, I'm, I'm on board with this DC universe? Well, I, I feel like I'm not necessarily the best person to talk to because I'm not the biggest Superman fan. Sure, so that's so, good. It's a fresh perspective that someone who's new to this, you saw Man of Steel, and that's, you know, after that, you're, you're going into this kind of fresh. Um, to be honest, um... I guess seeing how involved Wonder Woman is in this film is making me curious about it as well. Superman is kind of just like Superman for me. Like, he's not my favorite. He's not my favorite. So, like, I don't necessarily look forward to this movie that much because of who it's about. Sure. You know, but um, I'm sure I'm going to love it just because I love all superhero movies. So. Are you going to care about Batman? I mean, Ben Affleck looks a little underwhelming. I'm always a Batman fan, so... Okay, so you're going to like this even if Ben Affleck butchers it. Uh, I hope I do. I hope I do. I'll be rooting for Batman in the entire film, so. Okay. Jeff, what's going to make this uh, worthwhile for you? Uh, for me, it's got to be establishing that trinity of Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman. Those three are, I mean, just the pillars of DC mythos. Um, they've had, to, the three of them together have had countless story arcs and series together throughout the comics. So if this film is going to work and if the preceding films are going to work, you have to establish that these three are together, these three are the big, the big guns of the DC Universe, and they're going to be the ones that are leading the charge against whatever comes next after Doomsday, whether it's Dark Seed, whether it's uh, you know, one of the other head honchos in the villainy yeah. of DC. Maybe it branches up from there. You yeah. know, Marvel decided to build up their superheroes one by one, establish backstories, and then have them meet. Maybe we're seeing them meet, and then we get their... You know, they're one-off films after that, so that's interesting to look at it that way. So Pete and I are kind of in the same boat. We're kind of lukewarm on this. What, uh, at best, I would say, what, you know, is there anything conceivable that you go into this and go, wow, I was wrong? Well, I mean, certainly that's always, always an opportunity. You know, like, I, it just can't be a two-and-a-half-hour pile of grit for me. There has to be some sense of humor. There has to be... Um, it, I, don't, I don't want Superman side of the DC universe to be as dark as Batman's side of it. You know, right. I, I get Batman's side. I do. His, you know, his backstory. Um, it's dark. Mm -hmm. You know, as a young kid, something terrible happened. And I guess you could make the same argument for Superman, but he's always been a much more optimistic, much more. A, you know, brighter character. If this is all filmed very dark and and the lines are very, um, very gritty, it's not going to be a winner for me. I agree. I think uh, <clears throat> they've they've got to 
play up that uh, what we love about the the Marvel movies, uh, the things that and they don't have to do to a T what they're doing, but they've got to take certain elements and yeah, I, I'm not in for a two and a half hour brawl fest. I guess I want uh, I want a little texture to this, but uh, all in good fun, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be good. Uh, you can keep up with the Geekiverse right on YouTube uh, via our YouTube channel. You can also catch us on Facebook at geekiverse.com slash, or facebook.com slash geekiverse, excuse me. Visit our website at www.thegeekiverse.com. Twitter and Instagram at the underscore geekiverse. You can find me on Twitter. I'm Josiah DeLaroy. She's Little Miss Funeral. He's Jeffrey Pobbs. That's right. He's Pete Hurd. I've got it by now. Yeah. And, uh... Tweet at us your thoughts, and uh, are, are you excited about this movie, or are you kind of in the same boat where we're, we're not really sure? Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, so as always, thanks for joining, and uh, we'll see you soon.